This hole is about the same square footage as two football fields. Nearly 50 feet deep, the soil that used to be here was contaminated with tetrachloride ethylene. That bubbling is actually a good thing. It means bacteria used to clean the soil is doing its job. The Air Force Real Property Agency is responsible for coordinating the cleanup of base realignment enclosure, or BRAC sites. Kelly Air Force Base closed about 10 years ago, and since then, crews have been working to clean the former base of contaminants. We are committed to the economic development of the local community. We are committed to the environmental cleanup of every installation, every site across the Air Force, not just at Kelly Air Force Base. The site was a former metal shop operating in the 1940s in support of World War II. Back then, operations didn't include proper waste disposal. So cleaning solvents stored in containers seeped into the soil and polluted the groundwater. Now the Air Force is working with the state of Texas and the Environmental Protection Agency to eliminate the contamination. At the end of July, which is only less than a year after we awarded this project, it will go from a very dirty site to a parking lot that the people working in this building will be able to use. I'll be parking on that parking lot slot right there. Mr. Moore says it will take another $40 million and 15 to 20 years to get Kelly completely free of all contaminants. But the completion of this project is a big step in that process. Tech Sergeant Melissa Allen, San Antonio, Texas.